Hey guys, how's it going? No, it's been a long time since I posted anything on here. I've been busy with work and everything, but thought I would give you a treat here. I'm gonna we're gonna try and fire up the old International Transtar with a Detroit diesel here. I think I'm gonna do a freedom run to the Saskatchewan border tomorrow. This truck's the one that's gonna pull that 53 foot trailer, so we're just gonna let the block heater warm up a little longer and get the batteries charged up and she kicked over a couple times here I think it'll start this next time so let's see if we can get this thing going it's been a while since she ran we'll give her a go see what happens and then once we get her started we're gonna have to deal with this stupid shit so I'll see if we can get her started. Alrighty. Let's see if we can get this little fella to go. I think it's gonna take a couple tries. Just let her sit for a second. She don't like winter. He's the just, 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 this Detroit is cold blooded boy. Oh, she just fired there. Oh yeah. Hi girl. Oh she does wanna go. It's cold blooded old bitch. She went. Come on, girl. She's going. She don't like it, but she's going. Shut that off since it ruins it. Got a girl. Hell yeah, boys! Music to my ears after a long winter. you guys can I listen to that all day Silverado pulled up so we can get going on that tire. Just need to be running. Big Jack, twenty two tons.
this little girl. This shit. Nothing fun. God damn it, get in the fucking Now, like I said, I'm firing this truck up because I think I need to make some signs that says fuck Justin Trudeau and fuck Jason Kenny. That's the premier of Alberta, and he's a fucking piece of shit, too. So, I decided this old girl. My 53 foot van need to make a run tomorrow. Maybe block a border and block it in style. So, might do a video of that too. And show you guys how we do things up here in Canada. And I do want to say a big thank you. To all the American truckers out there that are supporting us up here. And that love comes right back down to you boys. I mean, your convoys are going to be epic. You can believe that. So, get this unhooked. And I'll get set up and pick a fight with this tire. I'll be right back. Alright, so it sounds like I got it. I think I got a bad valve stem or where it goes into the tire, or the rim, I mean. So other than that, I think for the next little while, we're gonna call this the Freedom Truck. What do you guys think of that? That's unlocked. I get this tire filled and we'll get her out from under this holiday trailer. Snap her onto the white 53 footer over there. I shouldn't walk away from this. But I'm going to talk to you guys about the Freightliner too. I've got a little bit of a plan for that old girl for this spring and summer too. Fuck out of this truck. Might as well disconnect the trailer batteries. That's got a few months to go yet. Yeah. Might as well look at something cool while I fuck around with this. <laughs> Trucks. Enough. Now 
we'll go for a walk. So the old Freightliner sitting behind the cab over Ford here, which is super cool. You guys really like that one. And I'll do some more videos of that old girl too. But in the next few days, when it warms up enough, I'm going to fight with this bastard again. We're going to get it started. But it needs a new radiator. It's got a fucking hole in it. And it's expensive as shit to fix. But I found one for 300 bucks. So I'm going to go out Sunday and get it. We're going to do the radiator in this thing. I got a hell of an exhaust leak coming out of fucking way back there. So that's going to be a special treat to fix. And this box behind the sleeper here, it's rotten as shit, and that's where the battery sits, so we've got to address that. And then this appears, the tires are starting to, like, to go flat, so the plan is we're going to get this little fellow fired up, hopefully in the next week or so. It's going to be pretty warm here Monday, Tuesday, as long as I don't have to go into work. And we're going to take it home. And we are going to go to work on this old girl because it literally is the best truck for pulling my holiday trailer around. And it's the best truck for quite a few things. I just, I really like, I really like this truck. A 15 over, she just goes down the highway nice. Two tall stacks, sleeper. It's a freaking cool truck. And then that Magnum 400 NTC small cam Cummins. Sounds cool. Be nice if I could ever finish getting that girl fixed up. That'll be a good truck for everything too. Maybe when I do the Freightliner, we'll we'll do a startup video of this old CL9000 with that 375 3406A. That'd be cool. That old girl's a beauty too. This is what happens when I work too much and I don't get to play with my trucks. And I get a serious stiffy and I gotta come out when it's fucking winter time and play with them. But, you know what, I'm cool with that. This one's gonna be home, I think. I'm gonna pick a fight with it Monday, I think. It's gonna be double digit temperatures above zero in Celsius. That's a fucking loser. But, Get this old girl unhooked from this pup and start selling parts that I've got out of this too because this fucking thing is full of shit. Boxes and boxes and boxes and boxes of parts. Sold an air compressor today. I'd like this trailer completely empty. Got some brake shoes there for an early 90s Kenworth if you're from Alberta. I put them up on Marketplace. Some brake pots back there. My tire shit's not for sale. I'm keeping that but... Anybody need a <laughs> anybody need a brand new muffler for an Aero Cab Kenworth? That muffler was put on in a C VIP in British Columbia. It's oily because rear seal was leaking on the truck, but it come back and it got pulled off because the, we like the straight pipes on that truck. Got a lot of shit here, Jesus. A lot of junk too. Some shit's not junk. But a lot of stuff. Time to get rid of it. This this is what I think we'll hook up to the Trans Star for the Freedom Convoy. We're going to close the Saskatchewan Alberta border at Walsh on the Highway One. I guess is the plan. So as long as I get all my shit together and the truck will start tomorrow, we're going Freedom trucking. So maybe I'll do a video of that for you guys. It'll be air horn a palooza, that's for sure. So I think we will have a good time tomorrow. 53 foot should block four lanes, pretty nice, or block two anyway. Let's see how we're doing here.
But we're getting there. We're getting there. My first video in a long time. Sorry to keep you guys waiting and shit like that, but as Ray would say, fucking way she goes, boys. Way she goes. All right. I'm gonna keep picking my fight you. I'll leave you with this video for now, and I'll be back shortly. There'll be a few videos here in the next little while, because like I said, we're gonna pick a fight with that Freightliner, and we are going to Freedom Truck tomorrow. Until next time, see you later.